William Faulkner was born just before the turn of the 20th century on September 25, 1897. His family of six was ordinary, but Faulkner grew up hearing about his grandfather, described as a colorful, if violent, man who fought in the Civil War and was anything but ordinary. This grandfather also published a popular romantic novel, The White Rose of Memphis, and potentially served as inspiration for Faulkner's later aspirations. Faulkner dropped out of high school but later went on to join the British Royal Air Force and take university level courses as a young man. He began writing in the 1920s, first publishing poems and short stories before publishing his first novel, Soldier's Pay, in 1926. Throughout Faulkner's writing career, he always stayed in touch with his southern roots. He published works throughout the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. One of his most notable works include The Sound and the Fury, which is described as centering around the Compson family, former southern aristocrats who are struggling to deal with the disillusion of their family and its reputation. Over the course of the 30 years or so related in the novel, the family falls into financial ruin, loses its religious faith and the respect of the town of Jefferson, and many of them die tragically. Eventually, financial need drove Faulkner to sell off the rights of his novels to Hollywood film productions, and Faulkner himself began to write feature film scripts as well. It is said that Faulkner was uninspired by the screenwriting and picked up these jobs purely for economic gain. In 1949, Faulkner received the Nobel Prize in Literature, the committee deeming him one of the most important writers of America. This is one of many prestigious awards Faulkner won in his lifetime for his work. Britannica.com says the Nobel Prize had a major impact on Faulkner's private life. Confident now of his reputation and future sales, he became less consistently driven as a writer than in earlier years and allowed himself more personal freedom, drinking heavily at times and indulging in a number of extramarital affairs. Faulkner's legacy is one of great achievement and recognition. Not only was he a writer of high esteem during his lifetime, but the importance of his work carried on long after his death. The New York Times Magazine published an article in 2012 titled, How William Faulkner Tackled Race and Freed the South from Itself. Fifty years after his death, and the press is still talking about the legacy of Faulkner. John Sullivan, the writer of this article, goes on to describe Faulkner's book, Absalom, Absalom, and how this southern tale grew to become one of the most important novels of all time. He also addresses how Faulkner's awareness of his racially prejudiced demographic allows him to combat racism through his writing. Sullivan writes, The novel is about even more than that in the end. It attempts something that had never been tried before in the art of fiction, and as far as I know has never been since. Not in so pure a form to dramatize historical consciousness itself, not just human lives, but the forest of time in which the whole notion of human life must find its only meaning. Not to have failed completely at such a task is indistinguishable from triumph. The South escaped itself in this book and became universal. Faulkner was wise and progressive. After discussing his life and legacy, we include here some words from William Faulkner himself. Read, 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 read everything, trash, classics, good and bad, and see how they do it. Just like a carpenter who works as an apprentice and studies the master, read, you'll absorb it. Then write. If it's good, you'll find out. If it's not, throw it out of the window. Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion against injustice and lying and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. Always dream and shoot higher than you know you can do. Do not bother just to be better than your contemporaries or predecessors. Try to be better than yourself. <laughs> 